Today I'm going to teach you the counting on method for mental math. First, let's review the purposes of mental math. You want to be able to compute quickly. You might also use mental math to find an answer when you can't use pencil and paper, a calculator, or manipulatives. So you might ask yourself, if I'm doing it mentally in my head, why is my teacher asking me to show my work? The answer is simple, because she wants to know if you understand how to do it. I did it in my head is not an acceptable explanation. Be specific and tell how. So exactly what is counting on? Counting on is a method where you start counting from the lower number up to the higher number. Well, why should I count on? You should count on if one of the digits on top is smaller than the digit below it to avoid regrouping, such as the problem above, where the 0 in 50 is lower than the bottom number, 7. You should also count on if the numbers are somewhat close together. So exactly how do I count on? First, you start counting from the lower number up to the higher number. So here we go. First, you can draw a number line to show your work. You'll place your lower number to the left side and your higher number to the right. Count on from your lower number to the nearest 10. In this case, it's 37. And you'll be counting up to 50. Here we go. 38, 39, 40. I've made it to my next 10. Now I'll count on from my 10, 40, to the next 10, 50. 40, 50. I've counted up three ones and one 10. The difference is 13. So 50 minus 37 is 13. Now I'm going to give you a few problems and we'll discuss whether counting on to subtract mentally would be appropriate. This problem, 69 minus 13, is easy to do because there are only two digits for each number and they aren't far apart. Therefore, I could count on easily. Now in the next problem, I could count on from 769 to 1052, but it would take too long. I would not count on. Here's a real life application of counting on to subtract mentally. Cashiers do this when making change. They count on from the cost to the amount you paid to find the difference. And here's the takeaway. Some methods don't work well for all problems. It may take too long, so you have to decide whether counting on would be appropriate for the problem you're trying to solve.